I'm Rob Lacuri, a senior editor at Gold Derby, here with Jung Jae Il, composer on the Netflix phenomenon Squid Game. Um, Jae Il, the music on Squid Game is so important to its emotional impact. When you signed on to the show and director Huang explained the concept of the show to you, what were your initial thoughts about how you wanted to create the music for the show? So, I said to you, 아까 한 감독님은 말씀드렸다시피 그별 말씀이 없으셨고 그냥 좋은 음악을 가져와라라고만 하셨습니다. 그리고 저는 음 어, 스크립트를 읽으면서 굉장히 그 두꺼운 스크립트를 빨리 읽었거든요. 아, 더 말씀드릴까요? Oh, so in fact, um, in terms of the director Huang, he didn't say much. He only said that bring me some good music. And I actually didn't take a lot of time reading through the whole really thick script. 그래서 그 제가 가장 인상 깊었던 거는 그 안에 있던 그 인간성, 그, 그 아주 어려운 목숨이 걸린 죽을지도 모르는 상황에서도 잃지 않으려고 하는 인간성에 더 초점을 많이 두게 됐고 거기가 제가 매력을 많이 느꼈습니다. 아마 관객들도 거기서 이 필름의 유니크함을 찾았다고 생각합니다. And what mesmerized me was the humanity in the show, in the story, even in the situation where your lives are at stake. I mean, you're holding on to your humanity and you're not losing it. That was the focus of the story. And I found that very fascinating. And I think that was the unique aspect of the show that many audience resonated with. 그리고 저 개인적으로 음악 감독으로서는 어, 두 시간짜리 필름만 하다가 아홉 시간을 해야 했기 때문에 어, 일단 너무 길어서 이거 어떻게 해야 하지 하면서 준비 시간이 길었고요. 그 가장 중요했던 것은 집중력 있게 모든 것들이 아홉 시간을 흘러가야 되는 건데 일관성 있게 그럼에도 불구하고 유니크함과 각 에피소드 유니크함과 어이 재미 그런 것들을 잃지 않게 하는 것들이 굉장히 중요했습니다. And as a composer, I only worked on the two hour long feature film beforehand, but now I was working on the nine hour long series. So it was just too long for me. And I did have to have a lot of preparations done beforehand. And I needed to make sure that the scores are going through in a consistent manner with a lot of focus, but at, for the whole nine hours, but at the same time, maintain the uniqueness of each episode and keep the fun factor of the episodes as well. So that was the important part that I focused on. Yeah, um, people will probably know you most from your work on director Bong's Parasite and also Okja. Um, beautiful work on that, but this is a completely different story. This is a long series, as you mentioned, is that why you decided to collaborate with Kim Sung Soo, otherwise known as 23, who, who composed the Pink Soldiers motif, and Park Min Ju, um, who composed some of the other music, for example, the Dalgona sequence? Is that the reason why you decided to collaborate with other composers? 정확합니다. 아주 정확합니다. 그, 어, 그 유니크함을 더하기 위해서 그들과 작업하기로 했고, 어, 그러네요. <laughs> Uh, precisely, very precisely. And I also collaborated with them to add some unique textures to the score. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, I want to do a bit of a deep dive into some of your tracks. Um, so the soundtrack for the series opens with the track uh, Way Back Then. Um, it features nostalgic instruments like the recorder and the sogo. Um, was it important to you to give the audience this impression that these deadly games were adapted from the games played by Korean school children? 이게 좀그 화면과 음악이 반대될 때 주는 그 기쁨이 있거든요. 재미가 있는데 그 Wayback Band도 그런 거였습니다. 저는 그 아이들이 가, 어, 배우는 그런 악기로 음, 굉장히 결투 막 이렇게 그 이렇게 
기장한 음악을 만들어 보자고 생각을 좀 하게 됐습니다. 근데 그게 아주 우스꽝스럽게 변했죠. 어, 그런 식으로 뭐 무궁화 꽃이 피었습니다 같은 경우는 어, Fly Me To The Moon이 너무 아름답고 신나게 흐르는데 거기서 모든 한 200몇 명이 죽습니다. 제노사이드가 벌어지는데 그렇게 상반되는 것이 될때 굉장히 즐거움을 얻고 유니크함을 얻는다고 생각이 듭니다. Well, I think that the contrast between the screen and the music is creating the joy and some fun of the show. And that was what I thought of when I was creating way back then as well. I mean, I thought of creating a serious music for the duo using the children's instruments and that come out to be quite hilarious in the end. And another example would be the Fly Me to the Moon in Red Light, Green Light game. Um, the beautiful you know, music, joyful music of Fly Me to the Moon is you know, flowing in the background while 200 plus people are dying. It's a complete genocide happening in the scene. So that you know, stark contrast between the music and the scene is creating some you know, entertaining and, and fun aspects. Yeah, in fact, um, Jail, I have become quite familiar with your work and I feel you did that on Parasite as well. We'll be seeing something so confronting and your music would be almost the opposite and it made it feel very unsettling, but it was so effective. Do you enjoy pushing the envelope and surprising the audience? Oh, 그렇죠. 그게 음악이 해야 될 역할이기도 하고요. Uh... 그 저의 스타, 스타일 혹은 저가 생각하는 거는 음악이 그 화면보다 앞서 나가지 않아야 한다. 그럼에도 불구하고 어 뭔가 다른 트랙이 보여야 한다. 화면과는 다른 어떤 트랙이 보여야 한다. 이런 것들 때문에 그런 결과물이 좀 나온 것 같기도 하, 합니다. 그거는 어. 황 감독님이 좋아하시던 부분이기도 하고요. Uh, yes, I think that is the role that music should play in a content. And my style and my thought is exactly that, you know, that the music should not be in the foreground of the um, scene or the screen. So, and, but at the same time, you know, music should be showing a completely different track uh, along with the scene. So that is how I view the music. And that is probably why we have the end result like that. And that is the part that director Huang specifically liked. Yeah. 어, 그리고 그, 그런 말씀해 주셔서 그런데 저도 이렇게 어, 막 굉장히 정서적인 음악을 영화를 할 때는 거, 그 화면을 아주 잘 감싸주고 도와주는 음악을 만들기도 했는데요. 어, 어떻게 된 일인지 이렇게 대상한 영화들만 연달아 하게 됐습니다. And so that, on that note, um, in fact, there were times where I worked on a more sentimental films and sentimental music that would be encompassing the you know, scenes and something that would be supporting the scene through the music. But for some reason, for the you know, recent projects, I worked on something eerie and strange instead. Yeah, that's fair enough. Okay, let's talk about my favorite track, The Rope is Tied. So that's the track which does support, completely supports the tug of war. It is so bombastic, percussive, loud. You've got so many different layers of drumming that I don't even know where to begin. In fact, Sorry. I'll admit something. I, I listen to that with my headphones on and it's the best song for, for meditating. Um, talk me through what you were trying to achieve with that amazing track. I'm really sorry, uh, what was the track? Um, the Rope is Tied. The tug of war. Uh, 그 줄다리기에서 사용된 the rope is tied입니다. 아, 아, I'm sorry. 아, uh, uh, 일단 원래는 굉장히 그 rocking한 어, 음악을 시작했습니다. 그랬는데 감독님이 싫어하셨어요. 그래서 뭐라지 뭐라지 하다가. 그 한국에는 그 초등학교에서 또 놀이기도 하거든요. 그래서 거기서 웨이백 때에 나왔던 그런 그 
337 박수라는 아이들이 박수를 치는 그런 것들이 베리에이션 돼서 나오기도 합니다. So um, it, I originally thought of a more rock style music, rocking style music for that scene. Um, I did an attempt on it, but the director didn't like it at all. So I had to take a different route. And in fact, the tug of war is a kind of game that the children's would children would be playing at elementary school and um, the children would be clapping in a 337 clapping pattern in some cases and that is actually incorporated into the the rope is tied and that is what is also featured in the way back then. So, sorry, 감독님께서 그냥 멜로디와 하모니 다 빼보자 그냥 퍼커션으로만 가보자고 제안을 해주셨고요 제 음악을 듣고 그래서 약간 그그 그 카니발 브라질 카니발에서 쓰이는 음악이나 세네갈 어, 그런 드럼 음악처럼 그냥 막 나, 퍼커션이 난무하는 여기저기서 나오는 막 폭탄 터지듯이 나오는 그런 걸 떠올렸습니다. And the director actually asked me to take out the melody and take out the harmony from the score and you know, suggested that we maybe try the percussion in it. And I thought of some carnival you know, like themes from Brazilian carnivals and then the yeah. drum beats from the Senegalian uh, music. And that led me to the percussive you know, score with the bombastic effect. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It ends with this... Um electric guitar solo, which I didn't expect. And it reminded me that a lot of your work blends traditional orchestral instrumentation and electronic synth sounds. What attracts you to combining those two very different sounds to create something new? Uh, 그런 두 가지 오케스트라, 전통적인 오케스트라 악기들과 일렉트로닉 사운드들을 이제 함께 결합을 함으로써 새로운 것을 만들면서 어떤 임팩트, 어떤 효과를 내고자 하시는지요? 그냥 그게 어 뭔가 의도된 건 아닌 것 같습니다. 그냥 제가 그런 식으로 작업을 하다 보니까 그런 믹스처를 좋아하다 보니까 여러 가지 악기들을 생각에 갖고 있고 그냥 그 장면에 맞는 음악을 생각하다 보니까 그런 식으로 나온 것 같습니다. 그래서 갑자기 일렉트릭 기타가 나오는 거는 그 그냥 그 그들이 정말 그 누가 봐도 질게 뻔한데 이겼다. 아 근데 죽겠다. 아 너무 힘들다. 이런 어 근데 살았다. 이런 느낌과 어울릴 것 같아서 그저 쓴 것이고 그게 또 약간의 메인 테마이기도 합니다. 일화에도 나오고 거기도 나오고. 구화에도 나오고 그래서 쓰게 된 그런 그런 그 컨트라스트를 만들었던 것 같습니다. Well, I wouldn't say that it's all intended. I mean, a mixture of different things is the kind of thing that I like when I'm working on the scores. I think of different instruments at the same time and I, you know, try to put in the instrument that is right for the scene and then it comes out in the mixture in the end. And, you know, you have the electric guitar sound at the very end of that score because, I mean, that is the kind of scene like that, you know, it was a game that they were almost bound to lose, but then they ended up winning and then they were totally exhausted, but they are relieved also that they are alive. So all of that came together um, in that score. And I think that is the main theme in a way of the show too, because it is shown in episode one, it is you know featured there as well. And it is also featured in episode nine. So that is, um, how, that is the kind of, you know, the, the effect that I wanted to create. Yeah. Um, another really strong element in the score is the horror, uh, um, horror motifs that you use. So in there's a, there's a track called Slaughterhouse 3, and that's where all the inmate, all the contestants are killing each other and there's blood everywhere. And it's really distorted, humming, and it's a really it's it's a great example of how you evoke fear and tension. Can you talk me through what you were trying to achieve with that particular track? 어 그런 소리를 내게 된 거는 어 너무 무서웠기 때문입니다. 너무 그 씬이 무서웠고 
그런데 이제 기능적으로는 그 거기에 이제 굉장한 퍼커시브한 그, 그러니까 무슨 때려 부시는 소리들이 난무할 거기 때문에 나는 퍼커션을 쓰면 안 되겠다. 그리고 멜로디도 쓰면 안 되겠다. 그냥 어떤 하나의 텍스처가 막 거대하게 이루어지는 그런 음악을 만들어야겠다. 이런 식으로 생각을 했고요. 그게 어쿠스틱 악기여서는 안 되겠다. 뭐 굉장히 강하고 뭐큰 다이내믹을 낼수 있는 일렉트로닉 악기여야 되겠다라고 생각했습니다. Well, the reason why I created such sound was because I was, in fact, terrified by the scene myself. And talking about the you know, functional aspect of it, I mean, there would be a lot of percussive sounds in the scene already because people will be beating each other and there will be you know, things that are breaking down. So I refrain from using the percussions there. And I also thought the melody shouldn't be there either. I wanted to create something gigantic in terms of the texture. And I thought that acoustic sound would not work there either. So that is why I ended up with the, you know, very strong and loud electronic sound dynamics. Yeah, it, it, was, it was really unsettling and kind of made me feel nauseous. And that's, that's exactly what you want to do. Um, you just won not long ago a Hollywood Music and Media Award for your score on Squid Game. Oh. So congratulations. What was that like? 아, 어, 받을 줄 전혀 몰랐고요. 어, 그 너무 그 훌륭한 작품들이 있어서 왜 저한테 주시 하고 생각도 했는데요. 고맙습니다. Well, I didn't expect that at all and there were so many excellent and amazing works that were competing against mine. So I thought that why am I receiving this award when I received it? But I really want to thank you. Uh, thank the awards for giving me the honor. You know, Squid Game's been uh, like just a phenomenon. Um, how much fun have you had or how, how much have you enjoyed this journey that the show has been on? You saw the actors winning at the SAG Awards, director Huang is getting all this attention, you're getting attention. I mean, uh, is this like a dream? Uh, 사실은 저는 그 뒤에서 일하는 사람, backstage에서 일하는 사람이랑 그렇게 많이 느끼지 못합니다. 그 파라사이트 때도 사실은 그랬고요. 어 그냥 이런 일이 벌어진다는 게 그냥 믿기지 않을 뿐입니다. 그 진짜 말씀하신 대로 피나미넨이고 어 그런데 음 그래서 저는 그냥 다음 작품을 하고 있었습니다. 그래서 그 작품을 끝냈고요. 어어 어, 이렇게 인터뷰를 오늘 이렇게 두 개나 하게 된게 굉장히 신기하긴 하네요. 저는 백스테이스 well, 일하는 사람인데. To be honest, I am a person who is working, you know, at the backstage behind the scenes, so I didn't really feel that much. And the same goes for my experience with Parasite. I just cannot believe that happened because it was a complete phenomenon, as you mentioned. But I was, in fact, working on my next project, which I just completed. And I am, you know, having the second round of interview with you today. You know, that is just amazing. Well, because I am a person who is working behind the scenes mostly. Yeah. The thing is, what you probably don't realize is the music. The music is so important on a show like this. And I just wish you all the best. Congratulations on some wonderful work. And I hope to see you on the Emmy's red carpet. I hope to see you again.